Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about why I don't drink alcohol. This is my first non-sex toy video, so it's a bit weird talking about alcohol, but um, a couple of my, a few of my followers have um, asked me about this subject because I've mentioned on social media a few times that I don't drink alcohol, so, and I've actually written about it in my blog, why I don't drink alcohol, and um, some people have asked me why and to elaborate on it some more, so here I am. So I went to a cafe this morning and I wrote a long list of reasons why I don't drink alcohol. But I want to start with um, talking about why I gave up alcohol in the first place. Well, um, I've given up alcohol twice. The first time I gave up alcohol, I was living in Paris and it was part of my university degree. So it was the first time I'd ever lived abroad and um, I was working in um, a marketing company and I didn't really make any friendships in that company so I started doing French for foreigners classes and that really changed my life. I met lots of um, Spanish people, Finnish people, um, Colombian people and I was listening to Spanish all the time and that's why I'm here really because I got Latin fever and I learned salsa and I wanted to learn Spanish and that's why I'm living in Spain now. And in this group of friends, um, my Colombian friends, they did not drink alcohol and they uh, wanted to go to salsa clubs. So my social life um, completely changed from, um, um, you know, in England, it's just like going out and getting as drunk as you can. That is the weekend. That's the objective every weekend. And coming from university, there's even more, I think, pressure or social pressure to get drunk as fast as you can as, and as cheap as you can. So being in an environment with people who didn't have that getting wasted as their objective was a complete eye-opener to me. So my social life gradually started changing. Instead of going out to get drunk at the weekends, we were doing excursions, we were going cycling, we were dancing. It was a bit of an eye-opener for me. So at that point I gave up alcohol. But then I went back to the UK, did my finals, and I came to Spain and then I started drinking Spanish style which is um, a lot more sensible than English style so for example here in Spain if you have um, a rum and coke or a gin and tonic they give you so much more alcohol but people don't constantly have a glass in their hand all night so they might have maybe I don't know two or three drinks and um, and the night lasts a lot longer so I learned a more sensible way of drinking, more moderate way of drinking and I also liked um, drinking wine with um, with food. But then as uh, time went by, um, well I kind of got back to my, not as bad as the English um, habits, but you know I had a few crazy nights out like you do and um, they kind of freaked me out I think. <laughs> But uh, that was not the reason why I gave up alcohol. I stopped drinking alcohol this time um, in August 2015. And at the time I didn't realize that I was giving up for good because my original intention was just to um, lose a little bit of weight. So, because I had a really important cover shoot for a magazine and it was a nude, a lingerie shoot. Um, and I don't do diets ever, but if I've got an important shoot like, um, that I don't have to wear many clothes for, then I definitely, you know, just for about a month beforehand, then I cut down on things like chocolate, alcohol, Coca-Cola, cake. And uh, yeah, so I gave up alcohol. And the reason why I was gonna have this um, cover shoot was because um, I designed a toy called the O Venus, which is a clitoral stimulator. So I was going to be launching this toy and, um, and uh, raising orgasmic awareness on the cover of the biggest magazine in Spain. But then um, what happened was the O Venus toy uh, got delayed and I wasn't happy with the prototype. So this delayed the cover shoot. And as time went by, let's say after three months of not drinking alcohol, I started to notice some amazing changes. The first thing I noticed, let's see my hair, uh, my list here is that I lost um, three kilos of weight in the first month. It was amazing. It's without doing anything different, it just went boom. Um, and then I started reading about calories in wine. Let's say a glass of wine. I didn't realize how many calories were in it. And I was like, oh my God, that's terrible. So that was the first amazing change that I noticed. 
And then um, I used to have eczema on my hands um, and then that just is completely gone now. So that was amazing. And other changes, yeah, my skin feels better. I feel mental clarity, which is fantastic, especially on Sunday mornings, which I'll go talk about Sunday mornings later on. And um, another reason to stay sober for me is um, it helps me stay grounded because um, the job I do as a sex toy tester is very emotional and I've had some great successes and I plan to have a lot more in my, in my uh, professional life. And because it's so emotional, there have been times when I've been like, oh my God, crying when I've got a book deal or something and I've, I've wanted to just get drunk to celebrate it. And I don't think that's a really healthy way to celebrate success. I think um, there are other ways, maybe having a massage or I don't know, jump up and down, I don't know. And so yeah, and, and also it's more, it's more in line with my, the healthy lifestyle that I'm living at the moment because I was sick of my social life um, revolving around alcohol. For example, I'm single and if friends wanted to meet, let's say in the week or at the weekend, it was always, there's always a drink involved. And, and I was thinking, oh, you know, I would like to see so-and-so that day, but I really can't be bothered with the hangover the next day. When you start thinking like that, oh, I'm gonna stay in just, just to avoid alcohol. Um, you know, you can go out and maybe have one drink or, stay sober that night but for me it's just been easier just to eliminate alcohol completely and now I think it's actually improved my social life because before for example if I wanted to go out on a Friday and a Saturday I might have, I might have cancelled the Saturday event because I was too um, shattered after going out on Friday night and that doesn't happen anymore now I've got way more energy to go out and um, talk to people and remember it um, so what else um, mm. Yeah, I've got no time for hangovers whatsoever because I, I work quite a lot, maybe seven days a week. But don't feel sorry for me because, you know, being a sex toy tester for me is the best job in the world. And it's my passion, so I don't really mind working uh, every day. And there's a lot of things, I have a lot to do and uh, a, lot of, a lot of things I want to do. And so having alcohol or having hangovers, having a whole day on the sofa, suffering it's just not it's just not where i am at the moment and uh more reasons mm. oh yeah um one thing that's happened i've noticed um after giving up alcohol is that at first there there were moments or times when i've been really tempted to have a drink after let's say after going on the radio or on a friday like today after a long week you just want to let your hair down and enjoy the weekend and even sometimes just um, um, yeah just being in an environment with, with food or in a restaurant and thinking oh wow I'd love to have a glass of wine with this food now or enjoying um, the beach in the evening with a cocktail so there have been moments when I've definitely um, been tempted but um, I think that's more at the beginning when I first gave up because after a while I think um, after temptation you start to reject it and I really reject alcohol now when I see drunk people they really annoy me I can't stand the smell um, and and the fact that they keep you know repeating themselves all the time um, I used to like alcohol for the conversational aspects of it for example it can really loosen you up and um, you can talk about things you might be too shy to mention when you're sober but uh, there comes to a point where people just get really annoying and they start uh, and they have these deep connections and then um, start talking stuff that might not even, I don't know, it's just, well anyone who's been drunk knows exactly what I mean, I think. But now I just feel that, and I've done the same, I've done it loads of times and now I just feel like a lot more in control of myself, which is, uh, which is great. And I'm probably never going to dance to YMCA or I Will Survive ever again. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. As seeing as I normally talk about sex because I'm a sex blogger, alcohol and sex is a terrible combination or a terrible cocktail. And I've always thought this, even, um, even when I did drink alcohol, because on nights when, I, when I've gone out in the past and I've come home and I've not 
pulled or anything and I've used my vibrator. It just takes so, so long to have um, an orgasm if you do at all. So just it just numbs all your sensations. And of course, if you're gonna have a good shag, you wanna remember it, don't you? So I like the challenge personally of just trying to express myself without having to be drunk. I think that is um, a great challenge. It's not easy, but um, it's definitely worth it. So, cheers to that. Thank you so much for listening to me, and um, I hope this story is inspiring for someone. See you next time.